Yo, don't forget to subscribe. After watching Joshua against Parker, it would it would be an easier fight than I thought. I'm going I'm going to have a fun in there. Joshua was robotic, reminding me of how robotic Klitschko was, barely throwing punches during his loss to Tyson Fury. He was so tight and stationary with his arms clutched together. Joshua won't be able to follow me or handle all of my movement. I'm too mobile, giving him too many angles and changing the tra trajectory of my header punches at any given time. <laughs> so that is what Deontay Wilder said, as you can see. He feels that after watching Joshua's performance last week and against... Joseph Parker, he feels that the fight will be e even easier than he expected. Um, he feels that Joshua was robotic. He feels that Joshua was too tight. He was too stationary. His arms were tucked together too tight. Um, he feels that his movement and his mobility would and his angles would give uh, Joshua uh, trouble. And now I've said this in the past. I believe that Joshua has problems with guys that move. And I do believe that if Deontay Wilder were to, you know, fight using his footwork, because I believe uh, Deontay Wilder is going to be in the back foot against Joshua. I believe if you look at this fight with uh, Tackham or even uh, Joseph Parker. These guys lasted long, and these guys were trying to be mobile, especially Joseph Parker. Um, Deontay Wilder is bigger and longer than Joseph Parker. He's more athletic than Joseph Parker, and he's fast with his footwork. So I believe that with if Deontay Wilder attempted to go that route and try to, you know, move on the back foot against you know AJ, I believe he he could give AJ some problems. Um, I think AJ is going to be a little bit uh, more respectful when it comes to Wilder because when it comes to Wilder, I think many people, many Joshua fanboys believe that AJ is going to walk through him. AJ is not going to just walk forward trying to land and go for broke and trying to knock out Deontay Wilder. He's going to go and he's going to be cautious because he knows that if he makes one mistake, Wilder's fast enough to catch him and hurt him and he doesn't want to, you know, get caught like that so he's gonna go you know in my opinion he's gonna be cautious um i do think that a mobile fighter can give joshua problems but like i've been saying for for a long time i think that joshua struggles mostly in my opinion when somebody's fighting on the inside against him backing him up against the ropes um you know De deontay wilder's acting like this is an easy fight for him hopefully he fucking gets you know gets in the ring and fights him uh, because, you know, it's kind of annoying always just seeing these little, uh, pieces of Wilder or even AJ and they're talking about getting in the ring with each other and knocking each other's heads off and, you know, 15 months pass and they're starting out in the fucking ring. Uh, Wilder seems confident. He seems like he's confident in his speed. You know, I, Carl Froch, I saw an interview, IFL TV where Carl Froch was saying, you know, Wilder's not going to be intimidated or frightened after seeing Joshua versus Parker and and I guess what he means by that is because Joshua you know didn't knock out you know Joshua hasn't been brutally knocking out his opponents as of late you know he went the distance with Joseph Parker and against Tankham I thought I felt he he, he should have he would have gone the distance had the referee not just abruptly stopped the fight so if you think about it he really pretty much went the distance in his last two fights um, so he hasn't been looking like this knockout artist that he is. Again, AJ is not a one-punch knockout artist. He's a combination, uh, you know, accumulation type of knockout artist. When he knocks out his opponent is when he has them backed up against the ropes and he's throwing multiple shots and he's beating them up. That's basically what it is. I've never seen AJ brutally knock out a guy. That's what we said. I think Deontay Wilder is a bigger puncher than AJ. I think Deontay Wilder has more, more one-punch knockout power than him. I think AJ is a better talent overall. But like I said, just because you're more talented than Wilder doesn't mean you can't beat him. I mean, doesn't mean you're going to necessarily beat him. Wilder can still beat you because he has that, you know, game changer, that one-punch knockout power. And he's quick. Um, 
I saw AJ. I th I think AJ's endurance uh, has improved because AJ didn't gas out against Parker. You know, he went 12 rounds for the first time, and he didn't look tired throughout those 12 rounds. You know, I, I was expecting him to gas out. So, you know, I, I was saying, you know, about a month ago that AJ would be fucked if he got tired against Deontay Wilder. And I still stick by that. So, you better hope that he has the same conditioning that he had against the Joseph Parker fight when he fights Wilder because... I think that's when Wilder is going to take advantage of AJ when he's tired. And then he'll catch him with that right hand because AJ will be making mistakes because he'll be sloppy because he's tired. So, uh, he better be in the best condition he possibly can be. Uh, but yeah, that to me is an intriguing fight. I see Wilder giving away the early rounds. I see AJ winning the early rounds. Uh, but I see Wilder picking up the tempo and then landing and... On AJ, and the question is, what happens when Wilder lands on AJ? Will a AJ be able to take uh, Wilder's shots? Because you know, normally when Wilder lands his right hand, his bomb on his opponent, his opponent is hurt. You know, it's and he, and you could and it's visible. You could tell that his opponent is hurt. And normally Wilder goes for broke. So the question is, if Wilder is able to land his right hand at full force on AJ, will AJ be able to take it? And the other question is, you know, when it comes to Wilder, a lot of people always question his punch resistance. I believe that Wilder has better punch resistance than people think. I saw Wilder take tremendous shots from Luis Ortiz, and Luis Ortiz is a big puncher. So I would expect that if uh, Anthony Joshua were to land on Eonta Wilder, I would expect Anthony Joshua, I mean Wilder, to be able to take it. But again, I also would expect Wilder to be able to, I would also expect that, if, especially if, you know, Joshua landed cleanly that uh, Wilder uh, would probably get hurt as well. Um, but like I said, Wilder, when it comes to Wilder, he's very mentally and f a tough type of character. I don't think you're just going to knock out the... Like, if you're going to beat him, you have to really beat him up. So, uh, that's why I'm excited because I think uh, I think what people think is... I think what, uh, people believe that if AJ hurts Wilder and AJ goes for broke, that Wilder's just going to, you know, capitulate and just melt and just get, you know, defeated. But I think it's a little bit more to that. I think if AJ finds himself hurting Wilder and he pins him against the rope and he's, like, going for broke and he's beating him up, I think Wilder's going to be able to withstand that. Because he's such a mentally uh, strong type of character. And he's mentally tough. And I think the danger for AJ is he's going to exhaust himself. And I think if AJ finds himself in that situation where he's exhausted himself. I think that's when you're going to see the tides change. And you're going to see Wilder pick it up and uh, beat him up. I just hope that when they fight, there's a referee that doesn't interfere the way he the, the referee interfered against Joseph Parker versus Anthony Joshua. I hope that. I hope that that doesn't happen. Uh, so yeah, you know, Wilder's talking a whole bunch of shit like per usual. So I hope he actually fights AJ, man. I really do. And I hope AJ also fights Wilder. I don't want these guys to be making us wait, 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 wait. I'm sick and tired of that shit, man. I'm sick and tired of waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm sick and tired of us as boxing fans. We want to see these big fights. But, you know, these promoters and these boxers make it so difficult for us you know and they these these boxers what, what these boxers don't realize is they make wars between us boxing fans you know you got boxing hardcore anthony joshua fans and hardcore no you got anthony joshua fanboys and deontay Wilder fanboys going at war with each other you know the uk is the best uh fuck america you know america is the best fuck uk you got these uh you know boxing fans going at each other all over two boxers, all because their uh, fighter Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder happens to be from their home country. It's it's really ruining, uh, like, it's really ruining. I I just don't think it's a, it's a healthy thing, you know. When you see for fighters that these guys go crazy, you know. When it comes to me, I just I like trolling boxing fans. I like talking boxing. I like giving you guys my opinion, but I'm not like you know hating on Anthony Joshua or hating on Deontay Wilder. I'm just telling you how I honestly feel about the two of these guys, the two, you know, the situation about the two of these dudes. But I'm not like, I don't have hatred for Joshua or Wilder. 
I just feel like if I need to criticize Joshua, I'll criticize him. If I need to give him credit, I'll give him credit. If I need to give Wilder credit, I'll give him credit. If I need to criticize him, I'll criticize him. That's how I truly feel. Uh, but there's a lot of these casual and fanboys out here that they're just like infatuated with either Wilder or Joshua. And they curse out the other countries, the other fighters' uh, countries' uh, boxing fans. Like you'll see a lot of infatuated Deontay Wilder fans curse out. UK boxing fans just because they happen to be from the UK like that's fucked up and the same token I you do see some UK boxing fans you know talking shit about American boxing fans just because they happen to be American like saying you're dumb yanks stuff like that and it's just causing this uh it's causing boxing fans to like not get along and then I just don't think that that's healthy you know okay it's cool you're rooting for your guy cool you know but you should be excited. Like, when I watch a fight, I'm excited. You should be excited. You shouldn't be like, man, fuck, you know, your country. Fuck your country. Fuck your country. I hope your country is. It shouldn't be like that. You should just be excited. And that's a lot to say, guys. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for daily boxing videos. Bye.